It's finally summertime, or at least rolling into it, and especially here in the South, we slow down a little bit in the summertime, especially for senior sessions, because one, it's hot, two, it's hot, and three, it's humid. So we slow down just a little bit, and if you're anything like us, then you probably are too. So in today's video, I'm giving you five different things that you can be working on in your business this summer to grow your senior photography business and expand as an entrepreneur and reach more seniors for the next few seasons. So stay tuned, let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and I am a senior photographer based in Richmond, Virginia. And if you're new here, this little channel of mine is just my space where I like to share some helpful tips and tricks for your senior photography business, as well as some fun vlogs and behind the scenes and just all the fun life things because I love making those and watching those. So if you're new here, I have a little gift just to say thank you and it is linked right down in the description box. And it is my posing for Gen Z guide, which is my go-to prompts for all the fun, trendy, cute poses going on right now that your seniors are guaranteed to love and it's been amazing and they are my favorite poses to do to date. So please check that out if you haven't or if, you, if you've been here and you just haven't grabbed it yet. It's just linked right down below. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is throw in your email and it's sent straight to you. So be sure to grab that before the end of the video and let's just get into it. Okay, so as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, here in the South or South, I don't know if you consider Virginia the South. I kind of do slash don't. I'm from Tennessee, so. Is Virginia really in the South? We slow down here pretty good in the summertime because everybody wants a break in the summer. It's hot, it's humid, it's hot. Did I say that already? So in the summertime, I personally slow down just a little bit, just take a little bit of a breather and step away from all the shoots and really focus in and dive in to my business and ways that I can update it, grow it, make things better for the next busy season coming up. So I wanted to share a few things that I do every single summer to keep the ball rolling, grow the business, and these are things that you could literally write on your to-do list today, get started on them, put them into work ASAP. So the first one might seem obvious, everything, everybody does this in their slow season, but if you don't, and if you just need that extra little push as your reminder, let's, let this be your sign to update your website. Even if you have to literally take a day on your calendar, schedule out, work on website, please, please, please do it. It is so important to take the time to work on your own website. That is the face of your business. It is the storefront of your business. We may not have an actual store, but it is our online presence as a business and that is what your potential clients are going to be looking at and reviewing to decide if they want to book with you or not. So it is really important to keep your website up to date. So in the summertime, I specifically go in and plug in all those amazing pictures that I've taken over the past busy season, just making sure that you're updating all of your texts, your prices, your contact form, ways to reach you, your social media handles, and especially updating those images to your newest, most amazing photos that you've taken recently, and just keeping everything up to date on the website. I cannot tell you how many photographers' websites I have seen that are old and do not match what their current work looks like. So please, please, please use this as your sign, grab your agenda, your calendar, whatever it may be, and block out a day, a whole day, to work on your website and update it this summer. The second thing that you should be doing this summer during slow season is updating your brand photos. And I'm not just talking about simple headshots, smiling at the camera, which yes, you need those too, but I'm talking a full on brand session. And if you don't know what a brand session is, um, I actually have a, it's all the same in the same business, but, but I also work with other small businesses to elevate their online presence with fresh and new imagery. So if you don't know what a brand session is or want more info on that, um, check out my Instagram, it's Kelsey Marie Brands, and you can find out all about what a brand session is and why it's different from just taking simple headshots. That's all besides the point, so let's circle back. Probably have a little extra time to be spending on your own business, and it's just important to get updated images of yourself for your website, for your Instagram, your email marketing, for 
literally all the things. So that old headshot of you from 2019, yeah, she's gotta go. We need something new, we need something fresh, especially if you're trying to attract senior clients. So along with updating your website, we are also going to get, say it with me, updated brand photos. <laughs> so the third thing that you can be doing this summer to grow and keep the ball rolling with your senior photography business is to create an email list. And if you don't have an email list yet, I highly recommend that you do. It's not just for selling products. You can also do have an email list for your senior clients. Um, and a way that I like to do this is by creating a wait list. So I use the program Flowdesk for my email marketing system. Um, they have beautiful, beautiful templates that you can customize and to create to match your own brand. Uh, the layout's already there, so all you have to do is plug in your text and your images, and it is super easy to use, super user-friendly. So if you don't have an account with them yet, I'll link it down below. I'm pretty sure I have a discount code for you too if you want to use that, um, but it's it's so amazing and so easy to use. So what I like to do is create a waitlist for my senior clients where I will have people just drop their email in and then they will get first dibs on, say, my fall calendar that opens up or my spring calendar or my summer calendar, etc., etc. each year. So that's a great way. You can also create a freebie resource for your senior clients. Maybe it's a timeline of their senior year, or maybe it's a shortened version of your senior session guide as a freebie, or maybe it's just tips on like your favorite places to shop for a senior session. The best way to get people onto your email list is to give them something. So, so create a simple freebie that your senior clients can download and save, and then you have their email to keep them up to date on all the things that you're doing in your senior photography business. Maybe you wanna offer mini sessions throughout the year for your senior clients, um, like a cap and gown shoot, or maybe you're doing prom minis. This, having an email list is going to be your best friend when it comes to booking all those time slots for mini sessions. Jumping on the email list train is something that you can do this summer. It's super easy to do. It takes not that long to sign up for an account and start creating emails. And it's gonna be super helpful for you if you are trying to grow your senior photography business. Okay, number four is to work on your resources for your senior clients. And by resources, I mean your senior session guide, uh, questionnaire, maybe it's a blog post with education for your senior clients. Maybe it's a Pinterest board with lots of cute outfit ideas for their senior session. Having educational resources to prep and prime your seniors before their session is key to having an incredible senior experience that your seniors and their parents are going to rave about to their friends. And when they rave about you to their friends, that's how you get referrals, that's how you get bookings. If you're anything like me, word of mouth is my number one way of getting new clients. So I take this really seriously and I be sure to give my clients an incredible experience throughout their entire senior session from inquiry to booking to the session itself and then even days after their session. So creating resources to prep them should be top of the list for you on keeping up to date and having in your business. If you don't have a senior session guide for your senior clients, I'm going to do a little shameless plug here. And I actually have a two different versions of a senior session guide. One is a Canva template and one is a Show It template. If you don't know what Show It is, it is the website platform that I, that I use. It's kind of like a Squarespace or a Wix. If you have a Show It account, I highly recommend getting the Show It template. If you don't have a Show It account, please grab the Canva template and they are both in my KMP shop and the Canva template is over 40 pages of information for your senior clients from outfit tips and tricks to places to shop to location ideas to hair and makeup artists and ways to do your hair and makeup and all the all the advice for arriving on time and what to do if weather, if there's bad weather. It literally has all the things. And it's the same thing on Show It, but instead of being a PDF guide that you would send to your client, it's a hidden page on your website. So whenever you wanna go to update something, you have to do is go into Show It to your website host, make the changes you want, hit publish, and then it's done. You don't have to change the link on your emails or anything like that, it's just automatically updated, which is similar to Canva, but also a little different. So both of those will be linked down below, and I also have other videos talking about them and the importance of having a senior session guide. So 
I'll try not to dive too deep into it, but please go watch those videos if you haven't. Grab the senior session guide template and you will be set for an incredible fall senior season. All right, and last but not least is to take a look at your packages and what you are offering. Take a look and see, compare what you've made this past year, see what your money goals are for the new year, for the upcoming season, and make some adjustments. Maybe you need to raise your prices, or maybe you've heard some feedback from clients that maybe most of your clients are wanting prints included into their packages, or maybe more people are wanting albums. And then take a look at the pricing of those products and make sure that you are still able to make a profit off of them. I've made the mistake in the past of not bumping up the prices enough, and it actually ended up costing me to produce those products for my clients. So just be sure you're taking a look at all your numbers, updating packages where you see fit, and even taking a look at what other photographers in your area are charging and making sure that you are staying kind of in line of what everybody's looking for. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that your summer season goes so well and you have some amazing vacations. Some of you may not even be into summer season yet. I know some people don't graduate until later in June, so maybe you're still shooting seniors right now. And if you are, good luck on those and yeah. And if you haven't already, don't forget that I have that freebie in the description box of my posing for Gen Z guide of all my go-to prompts for trendy posing. It's linked right down below as well as my KMP shop and the Flowdesk discount code. They're all linked down below. All my socials are there. If you need anything from me, click the description box because it'll all be linked there and ready to go for you. So have a good rest of your week, friends, and I'll see y'all next week with another video. Bye!